Hello everybody, this is the last lecture for the instrumentation of ultrasound sonography and this is about the display. As you see here, this is the display, the monitor and th this is visual display of course, it's not audio, the visual display. The audio display is through speakers and this is like something we, we can use it with Doppler but this is here the visual display. And as you see, this is the last step starting from the pulsar to the informer transducer, back to the beamformer, receiver, scan converter. The scan converter is ending by frames. So these are here scan lines. A scan converter is converting these scan lines to frames and that's why the display here will display frames right away. There are two types of display and we have the analog and the digital display. And the analog display is less commonly used nowadays, and this is one of the old generations of types of display. But nowadays we have the digital display, which is more uh, getting in the ultrasound field uh, more and more by time. Okay, the analog display requires a D2A. What is D2A? Digital to analog. Why digital? Because the scan converter here is giving digital frames. These are in the form of pixels and with a certain number of, of, of bits, we call it the bit number. So these are determining the, uh, the resolution, the contrast resolution and the spatial resolution. So I'm having here the point that we have digital frames. These digital frames, if I'm having the display is analog like this one here, so I need to have what to call digital to analog display, so uh, a converter. So there is here, it should be something in between if this display is analog. And this something is called D2E converter. It's converting the digital to the analog. So if I'm having, again, analog display, I have to have a, D, a D2E converter. What are the components of this uh, CRT or the analog display? Okay, it's called the cathode ray tube cathode ray tube, this is the component. It's formed of a, a, a glass tube funnel shape. It has a narrow part and a wide part. The narrow part here, there is the uh, electron guns, electrons gun. And then there is something called the focusing coil. And then we have deflecting coils. These are the deflecting coils, the deflecting plates. We have two pairs, mainly one for the horizontal and the other one for the uh, vertical displays. And the electron gun is emitting a continuous stream of electrons. And these electrons are plotting on this fluorescent end of, this, of the screen or the fluorescent screen is lined by phosphor, phosphor compounds and that are uh, glowing when, when, they, when they are hit by the electron beam. So the electron beam will make the fluorescent gun here or fluorescent screen here to glow. Okay, so I'm having here again a thick glass funnel shaped tube. What is inside is complete vacuum, nothing else. Complete vacuum. So there is no air, no nitrogen, no other gases inside, no gas at all. It's completely vacuum. And the, this is the electron beam of, uh, of electron that is hitting the fluorescent screen. Okay, this display here, as we see, it is in the, in the, the screen here, uh, as we, we probably will remember this in the old TVs, it, it gives what you call horizontal TV lines, horizontal TV lines. So they are displayed in a horizontal way. So these are actual pictures for the uh, uh, cathode ray tube. This uh, I got it from an old uh, ultrasound system. I just use it here to, to show you what are the components. This is the electron gun. This is the focusing coil here. These two are for deflection coil. And this is the, the, the wide end of the, uh, the cathode ray tube. And uh, as we see here, this is, this is made of glass, thick glass, but is lined from outside with dark, so it will not uh, make contamination with the picture, but it's, this is actually glass, made of thick glass. This is the cathode ray tube. And these are here the horizontal TV lines. Uh, they are running on the screen from side to side, and they are displaying the picture in 
uh, in either uh, fields or frames and as we will see this in a moment so these horizontal tv lines they are usually in the number of 525 horizontal tv lines they are forming the the, the frame so each frame is some of 525 horizontal tv lines these horizontal tv lines are displayed in one of two techniques either the interlace display technique or the progressive display technique what is the difference the difference between these two techniques the interlace display is dividing the, the, the frame into two fields so i'm having two fields that are uh, uh, success successively displayed i'm having the odd field and then the even fields they are in succession so they uh, uh, together they will form one frame assuming that i'm having 30 frames per second this is the frame rate how these fields are displayed okay each frame will take 100 over 30 of a second right we're having 30 frames per second so each frame will take 100 over 30 of a second because each frame is divided into two into two fields so each field will require 100 over 60 of a second to display so each field will take 100 over 60 of a second and the the odd field will display the the tv lines number one three five seven nine eleven all the way to the end of the frame of the fields so the this field will will form of half of the tv lines the other half of the tv lines the odd numbers are then displayed in what we call the even field the even field will display tv lines number two four six eight ten eleven and so forth till the other end of the even field so these two fields they are interlacing it means that at the end odd field and then far uh, even field uh, odd field and then even field i will get frames the disadvantage of this technique is that it usually is, is associated with flickering so that the display is not uh, like um, pleasant to the eye it's not uh, it's not comfortable to see the the flickering of the, of the that's why the the progressive field was the one that is used more common which is displaying the whole 520 and 25 lines in succession so they are starting from number one till number 525 all these tv lines are displayed in succession so i'm getting a, a full display of one frame at a time so this display of having a full frame at a time is it was less flickering more smoother uh, more realistic and more comfortable to die the second kind of display is the digital or the flat panel display usually that was the lcd technique the the most of the uh, flat panel the display of the ultrasound machines is the LCD uh, which is the liquid crystal display digital display there are other uh, other digital uh, fan panels flat panels of display but they are not commonly used in the ultrasound system like the OLED OLED is organic light emitting the, the diode or the plasma display but these are not common compared to the LCD. The LCD is the commonest type of digital flat panel display in the ultrasound system, I mean, okay? So uh, in, if I'm using this digital flat panel, what, what I need to, to, to mention here, okay? Number one is no need for the D2A because digital here, scan converter is digital. The display now is digital. So I don't need here any uh, digital to analog converter. I don't need anything here in between. So number one it doesn't need any d2a uh, converter the display is in pixels and because the scan converter is forming picture in pixels like this the display also is using pixels so i'm getting here a, a more stable more fixed display 
uh, I have no uh, flicker. And the higher number of pixels, which we call pixel density, the better detail resolution. Also, the digital display is using bit numbers. So bit number here is controlling the contrast resolution. The higher bit number, I'm having a better contrast resolution. So it's following the same rules that are in the scan converter about the contrast resolution uh, by, the, by the pixel density and the contrast, uh, the contrast resolution depending on the bit number. So detail resolution and contrast resolution are better with the display, with the digital display, right? And the, the, this digital display is well known to be stable, is flicker free, of course, uh, high frame rate, and is lightweight. Of course, it's, it's a good advantage to have an ultrasound system, which is a lightweight, and, and especially when you, when you go by portable shops, so you get to go, uh, here and there you, you have to push the ultrasound system in front of you. If it's heavy, it will be a, uh, it, it will be a hard work, but if the last system or the, I mean, the ultrasound system is lighter in weight, it will be an easy job to do that. Each one of these display, I'm talking about the, either the analog or the digital display, they are having their own controls, display controls. These controls are in the form of uh, bright control, brightness control, or contrast control. Contrast of the image, which is the, the, which is the, how many shades of gray are available. Okay, so this is increasing or decreasing the picture contrast, meaning that if I'm having more shades of gray or less shades of gray, I'm having more contrast or lower contrast. Right, the the higher the contrast, the less contrast resolution, and the lower the, the the lower the contrast, I'm having a better high contrast resolution. So this one here is the contrast control. The other one is the brightness control. Of course, this is very familiar with it. Like if you have the increase the brightness or lower the brightness, but this is depending on the contrast by the brightness control of the display. Also, there are some. Uh, key controls for the color saturation, brightness, etc. for the color display. So these are control key, the point that they are control keys for the display only. So the advice is that don't touch them because usually if you, if you lower or, or increase any of these controls, okay, it will give you a brighter or a darker image, it will give you a picture with less contrast or lower contrast, and this will might force you to compensate for what you did here, to compensate by the receiver, which is the gain, increasing the gain, you might uh, uh, do some compression or whatever. So you, you will change the, the, the parameters of the picture to make up for what you did for the display. So it's, it's advisable not to, to touch this because they are set already by the, by the uh, manufacturer and they are set to display exactly what the, con the scan converter is uh, providing. So it's better not to touch these co contrast controls, but just to let you know guys that there are certain controls for the display and they are different from the controls of, for example, the, the brightness and the, like the gain or the uh, shades of gray or the number of contrast resolution based on the compression of the image. So this is not the same like you do for the display. The display is totally different. Thank you everybody. And this is the end of the uh, uh, instrumentation uh, of the ultrasound system. Have a good luck everybody.